Charadrius damitus, the rock slide checker spot butterfly in its fell field habitat. Like Arabia magdalena, the butterfly is extremely difficult to approach and observe and or uh, capture. The rock slide checker spot has flown into the web of this rock slide orb weaver and uh, has become its victim. The spider is the greatest enemy of the alpine butterflies, like the rock slide checker spot and Arabia magdalena, which we hope to film today, the 10th of July, 1993. The greatest amount of Arabia magdalena activity up here on Mount Sherman has been on this fell field above this snow field. And it is suspected by this observer that the wind currents, which are stronger here, causing that reflected heat to come up this somewhat concave chute, this in turn being a very logical flyway and pathway for these butterflies, across which pursuit and observation and even the filming of which is extremely difficult. And here we see in the center of the frame why this butterfly is so difficult to capture and observe. And it's gone. There it is. In the very center of the frame. Here. Arabia Magdalena. The real Macaulay. And here, in the middle of this frame, the sedge, which the butterfly mimics at rest in the wind. Here, the boulder field habitat for this rare elusive butterfly, which the specimen we just filmed took off over with a gust of wind at probably 20 to 30 miles an hour. And that was the last that was seen of it. In the clump of Moss Campion, almost in the dead center of the picture, is the butterfly Arabia magdalena, and it is taking nectar. This is about 13,000 feet on Mount Lincoln. There it is. Lost it. And we're just trying to catch a Demetas checker spot. Missed it? Escaped. No, it's too bad. On this rock in about the middle of the picture is Arabia magdalena. You can see it exactly in the middle of the picture there. The triangle of the rocks. The butterfly leans away from the angle of the sun so that it does not leave a shadow on the rock and thus cannot be seen by predatory birds flying overhead. And the patterning of wings absolutely mimics the lichens. It's a perfect camouflage. The morning of July 11th, 1993, we released two Arabia magdalena butterflies in the artificial tundra and fell field created in our garden at Salida, Colorado. You see the two butterflies here in the center right 
and the lower left corner and they are taking nectar and moist nutrients from moss campion plants and flowers. We've made nearby fell field conditions here around their larval food plants and adult nectar plants. And here in the guise of a granite dome. And here so that together these butterflies should find conditions in which they can live and reproduce and we can study and learn more about the early biology of this fascinating butterfly. The butterflies are calm in the cool, moist morning air. This old female has been overpositing on the basal stems of these poor grasses. Let's see if we can catch her in the act. And there goes Emily on the same part of the trail. Come on. Watching Arabia here take nectar from. Magdalena. Yep, that's Magdalena. And it's taking nectar from some kind of a mustard. And here is Stuart going over the fell field boulders. And Emily coming up below the same. Our altitude is 13.4. And there's Emily coming up the trail. And Emily is going to try for Arabia Magdalena. I don't think she'll succeed. Because it's a very difficult butterfly to approach, even with a long-handled net. Meanwhile, Stuart keeps on going up the trail here. Doing very well. And here's a pair of Demetas checker spots mating in a fell field at 13,500 feet altitude. <laughs>